Thanks to the demise of the Australian domestic car market, Holden, Ford and Toyota all ceased production on Australian shores. There's outrage tonight over Ford Australia's decision to axe 600 factory jobs. The sackings continued at Toyota today. Tears and anger have marked a protest by Holden workers pleading for a government rescue of the company. The impact of losing that industry short term would be devastating for the country. General Motors announced that Holden will cease to exist. This saw iconic cars like the Holden Commodore and Ford Falcon disappearing forever. There's been a few attempts to bring Chinese-made vehicles to the Australian market over the past decade. However, all have failed to gain any decent traction. That's good. No, it's not good, Jack. It's great. The great cars of China. Another Chinese newcomer, the Cherry SUV, comes in at under $20,000. Just $12,000 for the hatchback. The new Geely MK is Australia's best value four-cylinder, five-door hatch and sedan. Geely only ever made an appearance in Western Australia, launching in 2009 and disappearing in 2013 due to changes with Australian design and safety rules. New mandates for features like ESC prevented the Geely range from future import. Photon opened showrooms in 2014, debuting the Tundland Ute and later adding an SUV passenger van. However, the brand was dropped by their Australian distributor in 2017 due to low sales. And that brings us to JMC. They entered the Australian market in 2015 with the Vigus. It was the only car we saw imported to Australia under the JMC brand, with them withdrawing in 2018. So with many failed Chinese brands, how have MG managed to achieve success in Australia where so many others couldn't? In part, the acquisition of the MG or Morris Garage's name brought with it the reputation of quality British built cars. When MG first started marketing in Australia, there was no sign that they were made by Chinese auto juggernaut Sake, and many people just associated the MG brand with England. Sake are a Chinese state-owned automaker behind brands such as Row, Maxus and Rising Auto. They've also got joint ventures in place with Volkswagen and General Motors to produce their vehicles within the Chinese market. With the MG Ranger's European-styled interior and input from the existing UK-based design team, Sake managed to tick a lot of boxes with the MG ZS and MG3, all coming in at a more affordable price than comparative cars in the Australian market. The MG3 launched in Australia with a retail price of under $15,000, while the Mazda CX-3, the most comparative car on the market at the time, retailed for almost $20,000 more. With the low price point, the MG3 has been adapted as a cheap delivery vehicle for fast food restaurants like McDonald's and KFC. As MG have continued to gain traction within the Australian market and have seen sales increase, more dealerships have sprung up across the country, now providing a vast service and support network. The vehicle offering has also been expanded, with MG HS, EV and ZST variants now available, and a variant of the MG5 sedan is set to hit showroom floors before the end of 2022. If you want to know more about MG's offering in Australia, you can find out more about the MG ZS and ZST right here.